So hello guys, welcome to my uh, first YouTube tutorial and it's gonna be about IR filters with a particular question um, are adjustable IR filters working or not? And uh, this is an adjustable IR filter which means you can adjust the wavelength of a light which should pass the filter. There's a scale on the top and the range is from uh, 540 nanometers to 750 nanometers. And um, I've looked a bit through the filter, turned the wheel, and I'm wondering because I don't see a change in the color, only it gets darker. Well, no problem so far, I, can, I can't see a human light from 750 nanometers, so it uh, should become darker. But I, I've read through some forums and they tell me it's not working because it's um, only a 540 nanometers filter with an adjustable ND filter. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know if the person jokes or have a doctor in physics or something else. So let's uh, try out today. Um, I want to do some test shot with a uh, camera without an IR filter and set the both filters, uh, which is uh, this is a 720mm uh, filter, to the same wavelength and uh, compare the photos in post if they look the same, set in the same wavelength. So let's get started. So the uh, first goal is uh, for the adjustable IR filter. Um, I set it to uh, 720 nanometers, like my fixed IR filter. And uh, I'm gonna make a test shot um, with something with chlorophyll. Uh, green grass and the sun. So let's give it a go. Um, an eighth of a second exposure with ISO 100. Make another one. <laughs> don't don't know if the first is perfect. Uh, second filter, same settings. Photo shot. And hmm, it's darker. Na an argument for the fitters not being the same. So let's adjust the exposure. Wait for the sun. And next shot. Hi, so I'm uh, back at home at my computer. And on the left you see the picture took with a variable infrared filter. And on the right, the picture with a fixed wavelength infrared filter with 720 nanometers. And uh, obviously, they both look different. The left is only red. Maybe they put only red glass in the filter or a 540 millimeters filter. Uh, the right picture is more interesting. Uh, it's not only one color. And uh, because of that, you can uh, do much more post-processing with such a picture. Um, so, my conclusion is the variable wave length filter are not working as described. You can't really adjust wave length, uh, which I don't know how to do physically in the filter. So. I'm not surprised. Um, sharpness is not changed. <laughs> uh, you can now do post-processing. Um, can try a bit, but uh, there are far more better videos on YouTube how to do infrared post-processing in Lightroom. Um, Maybe do a bit of white balance. Not the typical infrared shot. There are no leaves under trees. 
it's a bit early in the year but the grass is very bright so uh, thanks for watching i hope i could help you answer the question if it's good to buy a variable wavelength infrared filter or help answer the question why do your infrared photos does not look as nice as you want them and bye